I see Corey as my partner in crime. You know, it's like I'm not doing this alone. Yeah. And she has been with me every step of the way. Like through the ups and downs, the bad, the ugly, she know ins and outs, mm -hmm. everything. You know, she knows it all. So it's like I'd rather share that with somebody, you know, for the rest of my life than someone who don't know you. And then when everything, just say if everything was great, you don't know if it's genuine. You don't know. You don't know if it's real. You know, at least I know Tia got my back, you know, to the grave. So I mm -hmm. know she's with me. So much for that idea. Now it's a hot girl summer and putting on bathing suits over that pancake butt and doing cringy TikTok videos with your kids. <laughs> when people when people take their vows and they say, I don't know, maybe you guys remix your vows and that's one of the reasons why it's not rooted in biblical principle and you wind up not being successful in marriage. Uh, when people take their vows and they say till death do us part, I don't think that they really thinking about when they say it, when they say it. Because just a little while ago, I was looking at a clip where somebody sent me where she said she graduated from marriage. And here, right here, he's saying, well, you know, I know she's going to be here till death do us part, basically. Mm, that didn't age well. And she knows I'm with her. Mm -hmm. And that's just, you know, everything's not perfect. You know, marriage is work. And that's... Marriage is work. Wait, is. I'm not here. Let me finish. Go ahead, sorry. I'm not going to be here and like, you know, everything is wrong. Mm -hmm. You have to work hard, you know, to stay married, you know, and stay... You see how she tried to insert herself into it in the middle of what he's saying? This is a happy wife, happy life situation, right? This is somebody that's basically looking like they're being held against their will into something that they've been in just because they've been in it for a long time. And this is why I say it's the difference between being successfully married and being in a marriage. Because if the foundation is not straight, if everything that y'all doing and y'all building upon is sand, eventually it's going to fall from under your feet, no matter how long it's been standing up, no matter how long that structure is standing up. When a hurricane come, you're going to then graduate from marriage. I mean, for me personally, and I mean, it's easy to look at it and make an assessment in hindsight, but it don't look like that thing that y'all really, really want to deep dive into. You know what I'm saying? Together, you know what I'm saying? There are times when I'm like, wow, like last year was pretty tough, mm -hmm. but this year it's good that we st stuck, you know, to it, or we continued to be there for one another or mm -hmm. had patience with one another and worked out whatever issues or difficulties that we were having, because that next year is like a completely different year and an even better year. Yeah. You know? Every year seems to get better. It does. Like it as really a family does. first, as growth, development, careers, everything gets better. And I yeah. fall more and more and more in love with him. I really do. If every year has to has to get better, like last based off of the idea that last year was bad, that's not something that's ideal. Honestly, it really isn't. It look that didn't even seem real. What she said, it didn't even seem real. Look, let's let's play it again. Just a couple couple back. Family first is growth, development, careers. Everything gets better. And I yeah. fall more and more and more in love with him. I really do. Who are you trying to convince? <laughs> Who are you trying to convince? Listen, love is an action word. To be in love is the same thing. We keep trying to modify it to say, are you in love or do you love this person? Come on, bro. You, you can't finesse me. You can't finesse me. <laughs> Shut up, Corey. <laughs> Um, but it's not that gushy, gushy, you know, like ugh, the fake, I don't know, you know, some of these romantic well, comedies, they're so fake. And it's, it's, it's the more of like, man, like you really are my best friend. And I like, think time has been like the, the result of that is we've been together a while. So mm -hmm. it has to, it can be that fake. Cause a lot of people get together. You see them, they in love and tattoos and they, it's over in a year. Two, three is done. 
but we still in it. So he's like yeah. a part of my body. You he's know what I mean? It's while. like not anymore. It's like you know. It's like if it's I I can't even I can't even visualize myself. You know, without Corey. She puts up with me until until she did visualize herself without him, and that was the end of the conversation. Because I'm a little crazy, <laughs> but I mean it's 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 like it's a good crazy, but it's just me. She understands me, but she supports me, and she's how do I support, support you? Through everything. Oh, you want you want some more credit? He she wants him to gloat over her and to highlight how awesome she is and how great she is and how phenomenal. How, how is it that I support you? Okay, big me up on camera, make me look good. Look, what I found is that the women that are the dopest, and I'm not even talking about from a career perspective because I think that women should work. I think that everybody should have a purpose in life as far as uh, being 100% fulfilled before they even get into a relationship in the first place. That way you ain't got to give 50-50, you can give 100-100, right? But when you look at this and you start to break it down, um, listen, fam. The women that I found to be the best in a relationship Often at times they do the least speaking. They don't they don't talk as much when they're with their significant other. Like they just chilling, they slow motion, they in the background, they play their role, all of that. They not always trying to be at the forefront as far as the one that's speaking, the one that's most visible, all of that. And I'm not saying that they can't speak and be visible. What I am saying is that the demeanor, the disposition of a woman that is a helpmeet or one that's, that's submissive is completely different than what you're seeing right here. Everything, everything is a communicative tool, meaning that body language speaks volumes more than even what comes out of your mouth. Just everything. If I need to talk to her, she's there, mm. you know, for great advice. I mean, she's there to comfort me. I mean, she cooks pretty good. She does everything. She's Aww. like the super mom. Oh, thanks. And then Corey. she's my number one fan. I am. She be, boy, she's on me and, you know, well, y'all need to hear some of them conversations we have around here. I couldn't do it, bro. You're not about to be bullying me and my own household. It's genuine. It comes from a real place, and I know that. And that's always a great feeling to have when someone's really in your corner. So I love her to death. I love you, too. Nope, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it to death. Don't say it because we know it's not going to be true. Yeah, even though she get on my damn to death. I love you too. To death. Yeah, even though she get on my damn nerves. You get on my damn nerves. <laughs> I mean, but that's a part of a relationship, you know? You see, how I, you see how I switched up just that fast? From black to white, white to black, just that fast? Come on, man. I think we're very realistic. I think that's what's really cool about our relationship. I think that's what's really helped us be together for 15 years. I would say listen Just to your patience. wife. Mm -hmm. Because what she used to always tell me, a happy mm -hmm. wife is a happy, happy life. life. Even when you're wrong, Tommy. <laughs> I'm like, just yes. Even Just when you're wrong, okay. man, you have to say okay. Just listen, bro. Just because people are together for a long time, that does not qualify them to give you advice on how it is that you're supposed to be modifying and managing your relationship. I'm telling you, simps is down a thousand and, and it's getting worse. And now because we got social media and because we have these recordings, we can go back and reference it and say, yep, I knew it. Yep. Not making sense. Yep. We got it. Happy wife, happy life stuff. She telling him, yeah, just say, okay. No, bro. No, I'm telling you, it's all bad. It's 100% bad. You find yourself in these situations. You're going to be under duress. You're going to look up, and it's not going to make sense for you. And I will, I will do you one better. A lot of y'all grandparents and y'all parents and stuff like that, 
they regret the fact that they had to suffer through it. And you'll, a lot of us will reference them because, you know, a lot of them ain't even here anymore to speak for themselves or whatever. But if they did, if they could, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they will give you a different perspective than what you thought made sense. And we got revision, like a revisionist history mindset to where we forget about a lot of the stuff that they suffered through or we didn't even get a chance to see the stuff that they suffered through. And so, you know, we think that everything it was just culture and it wasn't. It wasn't. And it's bad. And now we got real evidence to reference, not to make them look bad, but just to use as a cautionary tale so we can make adjustments for ourselves. I love you. I appreciate you. Make sure y'all tune into the Q show tonight. It's going to be awesome. Uh, in addition to that, make sure you get that teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Looking forward to see what y'all going to say in the comments about this one. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.